Hey guys, it's Amy. Welcome back to my channel. So as you can see, I have an unboxing for you guys. It came in this huge bag. Obviously, I kind of deconstructed it because it's a huge box. So yes, it came in this huge box as well. This is a magnetic box that opens like so. Um, and yeah, I have the holiday ribbon as well. Of course, there's the proof of purchase and the bag that comes in this big dust bag. And it is a drawstring dust bag. So any guesses? <laughs> you should know by now what it is. It's a Neverfull, but it's a world tour Neverfull. I'm so excited to have this. Um, it's such a special piece. Um, all the stickers were chosen by me. And yeah, it's so special. Let me just show you on both sides. And then I'll talk about um, how I came about to choosing these stickers, my thought process, how do I like it, how long it took, all that good stuff. So there you go, this is my world tour never fall. And yes guys, I maxed out on all the stickers. Um, I don't know, I just find that there's no point in, in limiting the stickers. I know some people do that which is fine, but I, I feel like for myself there's no point in limiting the number of stickers. I want the maximum, in fact I want more because <laughs> they're so pretty. They were actually definitely more stickers that I wanted, uh, that I really liked, uh, but wasn't able to include. So yeah, and then of course I've got the little pouch as well that comes with it. Um, so yeah, the pouch looks like this. And um, if you notice, they actually correspond to uh, what you've picked on your bag. So you don't actually get to choose extra stickers on your pouch. Uh, whatever you picked on this bag will go on your pouch, but not all of them. So obviously the the one situated in this side will go on the pouch. This one below the um, the name tag here will go on the pouch as well as that one. In the back, you get your two stickers here will go on the pouch as well as uh, this small one here is actually the big one in front. As far as I know, right now, you can only get it in store, so you have to go in person in store. They'll have to um, bring out their iPads, and then on their iPads, they'll use their application where you can pick um, and choose the different stickers, uh, as well as, um, for, for instance, for the Neverfull, you get the choice of two different combinations, so you can get the treated black leather with the red lining, or you can get the Vachetta with the um, beige lining. So that's the two combinations that's available at the moment. Uh, and then of course there's all the, um, the sticker patches that you get to choose on your bag. I think the minimum you have to pick is at least one sticker, um, but of course you can go from one to the maximum number of stickers. So in this case, there is one, two, three, four, five on this side. Um, six, seven, eight, nine, nine stickers in total for the Neverfold that you can pick uh, out of all the ones that they have. Um, and it's not random at all. These placements are all uh, preset. If you look on their website under World Tour, um, you can look at the patches as well as the all the bags that are available for customization. So these bags, the Neverfold, the Speedy 30B, uh, there is a um, there is a luggage, a keep all fifty a mini palm spring, and then there's also uh, so there's there's actually three different wallets. Of course, depending on the size of the bag, then you get uh, their preset number of stickers. So like on a wallet, you can't really get nine stickers, obviously. On the bottom of their website, they show you all the patches that is available. So there is the city patches. As you can see, I got the panda, and then I also got the Paris Eiffel Tower. Um, but there was actually quite a few that I liked and of course I try to pick things that um, I mean stickers that I've 
you know I've been to or that are actually meaningful to me uh, so let's move on and then there's the heritage stickers so I picked this V1 with the Volley Vogue Voyage avec les valises de Louis Vuitton that's one of the stickers that I knew I must have because I love that sticker when you're playing with their iPad you can pick and choose different ones see how they look together I spent I think I spent a good an hour and a half just to go through the whole process uh, and it's fun but stressful at the same time but it was good and then of course we've got the Grand Hotel so as you can see I went with Pisa and yeah that's it you can only pick one Grand Hotel so I went with Pisa I was also liking the Majestic Paris because I've been to Paris um, but at the end of the day, I, I I already picked the Eiffel Tower. The Eiffel Tower is actually quite meaningful to me. So instead of the majestic Paris uh, with the Champs Elysees, Arc de Triomphe, I I just I just went to Pisa because I also went to Pisa recently. And then of course you've got your make your own patches. So this is the one where you get to put your initials or you can put like your full name or whatever name that you want uh, on these ones. So these are really cool. Last but not least, there's also the pop art. So this is all the fun little stickers that um, a lot of them are actually limited. So um, they, they, they may come and go as well. Like they may be available now or they may add on more later. And um, yeah, because on the website, I noticed that when I was on the iPad, they had a couple more choices that wasn't available on the website. This is the front of the bag. Um, on this side, you get to choose the Grand Hotel, you get a pop art here, you get a city sticker here, you get a, this is the heritage sticker, and then you get the make your own sticker here. So obviously I went with red because I wanted a treated leather Neverfull because I already have my Vachetta one which I can just put side by side for you guys to compare how they look like because I really wanted this this leather so that I can uh, make use of this Neverfull when it, the weather is not that great and then use the other one more when it's um, nicer out so I picked the red tag because I love the fact that I was able to put whatever name I wanted and I wanted to put my my handle name which is fashionably Amy and I actually separated it on it because I did it both ways and this way looked the, the nicest and so now I have officially I have a a bag that is customized with my YouTube handle name which I think is really cool and I already explained that I really love I really love these two ever since I saw these uh, when the V came out, when the V collection came out, and then this one, I saw it on the the first world tour collection. I really loved it right away. And then Pisa is because I've been to Pisa recently. Our Europe trip this year was so special. I traveled with my brother and my sister-in-law and my husband, so it was awesome. And it was also my very first time going to Europe. And then of course, um, I had to have the panda. Shanghai is actually um, the first uh, one of my first trips uh, where right after I graduated from Seishep, I uh, went on a one month trip to China with just three friends on my own, well, on my own and with three friends and we um, we didn't hitchhike per se but we, we visited several cities in China on our own. It was like a huge trip. There was a lot of hiking involved, there was some shopping involved there was just a lot of sightseeing involved. It's super special because it's one of those trips where I know um, it's not going to be that easy to do again because just the hiking itself, um, we did a lot of really hardcore hiking. We went to Huashan, Huangshan, um, Meishan, we went to... Um, I can't even remember now. It's just like all these really um, uh, national iconic attractions the national parks uh where it's just beautiful like anyway you guys have to go if you can but like yeah we those those are just like the the ones that we hiked and then of course we went to the main city shanghai beijing uh we went to hangzhou we went to uh, Sichuan and Guilin and all these places were beautiful there was lots of attractions everywhere so it's it's when was that 
that was in year 2000 so that's been 17 years since i did this trip and it was one of those like amazing and memorable like um unforgettable trips of my life uh just because you get to see the world and you get to um you know you get to do your own thing you get to like really see like how different this whole world and also it's i guess it's part of my culture i mean my parents are from hong kong but like china in itself is so huge and it's so different in every little part of the of the country that you go to and it's just so eye-opening basically all this just to say that I, shanghai means a lot to me that's why i picked the little panda and then of course on the back side you get a another pop art you get another city and then you get another um this is a heritage one and then you get another pop art on this side so what i just said like pop art pop art city heritage these are this you know these are the fixed locations on the bag where you can pick um a sticker and you cannot duplicate them so if you already picked the city on this side you cannot pick the same city on this side unfortunately but uh so yeah my thought process with this is uh i of, of course i went with the color i wanted everything to be cohesive uh paris the eiffel tower i just had the most wonderful time in paris and i loved paris so much so i definitely wanted paris here um, and then uh, the palm trees were just kind of symbolic to my honeymoon because um, my honeymoon was in Hawaii and also um, I got engaged in uh, Australia at Manly Beach so even though I don't know were, were there palm trees there I don't think there were but it's kind of it kind of reminds me of the tropical temperature and and all the lovely memories and then of course the sticker for this one it was my last sticker that i picked and i i didn't really know what to pick i knew that i liked almost all of them and i almost picked the yellow one but in the end i went with this one and also i was given ideas by the essays that were helping me and she was saying how there's a bit of beige on the the edge of the palm tree here so why not get another something else that's beige to kind of balance it out and i was like oh yeah sure why not and then i found out later on that this um because the essay that was helping me her name is ode um i don't know if you're watching but if you are hello uh she told me she's actually from france and um so she's parisian and she actually told me that uh, this is the address of the very first lv store in in paris so <laughs> i mean how amazing is this how amazing is this what i really love about this collection or about uh this I, I guess the fact that you can customize your bag is that you get your very own unique bag no one else will have the exact same one as you unless someone else copies exactly like what you have which i doubt they will because even the name will change like i doubt anybody else wants to put fashionably amy on their bag um so <laughs> Anyway, so here's the inside. It's just the red interior, Louis Vuitton made in France. And then the date code is actually hidden on the side underneath here. So it's like tucked inside. Little tags here that says uh, coated fabric, cowhide leather trim, man-made lining. And then there's this little book booklet that tells you how to maintain your bag um, in different languages. And then of course there's a D-ring down in here where the the strap for the pouch is attached. I went in on October 28th and it was ready on November 25th. Uh, I just picked it up today so I picked it up on Sunday and then um, yeah everything looks good. I was you know checking the leather, uh, everything looks great and um, there's a little bit of creasing on here but I guess it will happen over time. I mean, this is um, this is not like Vachetta where it's, Vachetta is a lot softer, it's more buttery. This is definitely, th um, you know, you can feel that it's, it's, um, it's more rigid, um, it's sturdy. Because it's the treated leather, then the, the chances are over time it will kind of show the creasing and all that, but hopefully no cracking because that won't be good. I mean, I know that eventually all these, the you know, the trim here will, will be creased and everything, but creasing is okay. No cracking, hopefully. 
and here's the bottom now on the side i wasn't the most impressed at the side because it's not super aligned like i don't know if you can see it's not super aligned so i think yeah that side is already better this side is worse actually so this side is really really off i mean i guess it depends how picky you are um you know i saw it i was like oh i wish it was more aligned but what can you do uh, i'm not gonna tell them to remake it because it is still a really beautiful bag if you don't just look at the sides so just to quickly compare it with my vachetta one i believe my vachetta one is more aligned i remember it was more aligned oh yeah it's more aligned i don't know if you can see it looks way more aligned doesn't it so it really depends on yeah it's more aligned it, at least it looks more like it's level whereas on the other one on this one side uh, it's definitely more off yeah this side it's more off oh well <laughs> what can you do but yeah just to show you the difference uh, in terms of the 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 color contrast so the black and monogram and the Bachetta and um, monogram they both look beautiful by the way but um yeah it's just i just love i love both this one is definitely softer like you can tell this leather is just see like my bag is still in really good condition so it, it's still kind of stiff but the leather is is really comfortable and yeah it's slouching a little bit now but not, not that much Whereas this one, of course, is brand new and the leather is stiff and it's thick. You can feel the the thickness. But I hear that um, I hear that the black leather um, on the world tour uh, is gonna be softer than than like Demi and Ben. So I'm not too concerned about that. And I, you guys know that I love Never Falls. I love it more than the Speedy. <laughs> so so I really am really excited to. To have this and to add this in my collection you guys know that i don't mind that my vachetta goes in the rain obviously i i don't baby it in that sense but i do try to avoid it just because i prefer it and i know that just by doing that just by being conscious of that my bags keep in super good condition which has been the case so far and that's the reason why i always you know my bags are always in really good condition but that's why i'm so excited to have this because i know that now whenever it rains outside even if there's just a chance of rain or if it just looks a bit gray i know that i can rely on this bag and i don't have to worry about um the leather getting ruined of course the stickers you know i i have to be careful about the stickers too but i've had bags with silk screen prints um from louis vuitton before uh and they wear super well so i'm hoping that it is still the case now i know that these are much bigger stickers like this big one here in the back some of you may wonder why i picked the neverfull versus any of the other options out there uh like i said the neverfull is just one of my favorite bags i just you know even though i don't use totes very often because i i prefer just having small bags in general but when i do go for a bigger bag i just go straight to my totes because they're just the most easy and the most carefree um, bags to use love that you get two things also so you get kind of like you know whatever stickers you have uh, it gets replicated on this little pouch it actually does smell kind of plasticky like this whole bag i think i need to air it out but yeah do you guys have ex have you guys experienced the same thing as yours a little plasticky smelling is it so now i have a total of four totes in my collection including the two neverfuls my deauville and i have a longchamp bag which is limited edition you guys don't really see it but i i just use it when i travel i don't really use it uh, on a regular basis and now that i have four totes i'm wondering if i actually need all four because like i said i don't really reach for my big bags um, but when I do, I love reaching for totes. It's just that, I don't know, do I actually need all four? <laughs> I don't know, I might consider letting this go. Um, I don't know, should I? Because it's so nice. And it was so hard to get this one. And it's still really hard to get any like nice Dovilles. 
um, I know the current season one is really nice too but I just love how this one is dark and denim and it has the orange like the really nice orange yeah I don't know I'll think about it but yeah that's something that was that's also in the back of my mind because I just think is it too excessive to have four totes I mean it's not excessive because I, I you know, some people have more than that but I just I just feel like for me is it excessive to have four totes I guess three because I don't really use the Longchamp that much so anyway I'll think about that and if I do decide to sell it you guys will see it on my Instagram I have two Instagrams account uh, one is my main one fashionably Amy where I just post whatever stuff whatever inspires me but I also have a second one where I post things that I put on sale so it's fashionably Amy's closet I'll put the my handle name here on the screen so you guys can follow me there if you want and yeah if um, anyway if I do decide to let anything go it, that's where I, I put it I haven't really decided for this one yet because it's just so beautiful uh, I don't know maybe I can't let it go I don't know I'll think about it anyway I hope that you guys enjoyed today's reveal video and I hope that you guys are doing well thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you again very soon bye